Super Coin Crew here, where it's non-stop Nintendo. We've got a lot to talk about, including Michomo, Hyrule Warriors Legends, Pokemon. My name is Gabe. And I'm Nikki, and we're also going to be answering some of your questions that we got right over here, yeah. That's right, but first off, Nikki, what happened on the channel this week? So, first up, we have another Let's Play from this weekend, but we also did three product reviews. Over the weekend, we did Ryu and Roy Amiibo, and something else that we did. Can we get my Calamari plush, you guys wanted more Splatoon awesomeness on the channel, so we got our hands on these guys. Girls, should I say. And also, we have another one of these plushes coming in, and there's a little sneak preview yep. in the video. Yeah. You might catch him, or her, or it, but <laughs> yeah. I'll just give it away. But definitely, okay. uh, there are a lot of Splatoon merch coming, and we mentioned it in our last podcast mm -hmm. that, you know, they're making the water gun, they're making the lint roller, but I'm a big fan of the Splatoon plushes. They yeah. Are awesome. I mean, not only are the pillows great, which we have on the couch here, but the Squid Sisters look amazing. I'm super happy. Callie sits right on my desk as I work. And it's brought to you by Sane, but why are we telling you this? Definitely go watch our final right. review. Totally. And what else is happening on the channel? We, I know we had 107 facts about Hyrule Warriors go up. What's going uh, up this week? See, this week is 107 facts on Nintendo Land. That's right, which is you know, yeah. you know the game that came with the Wii U. It's probably the first game that a lot of people played on the Wii U. And also, we just did our top favorite changes on between Twilight Princess and Twilight Princess HD. That's right. So this week, we have another thing that's Zelda related, but mm. let's keep that I want to surprise. We rather yeah, it's. I mean, it's very difficult for us to keep that one a secret. I know what you said. <laughs> I get difficult. I don't know what you're trying to say about secret. I don't know. Dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> I just kind of gave it away. Uh -oh. What else? Michomo. Hey, guess what? It's finally yeah. See, they. I know. They wait to the last minute. They said coming in March 2016. <laughs> March 31st, by the way. Yeah, March 31st. Midnight. Literally. <laughs> Literally the last day uh, in March. It's gonna be here um, Thursday, March 31st in US. 11:59 p.m. 11:59 p.m. You can download it, uh, and then on April 1st, it's like just kidding, April Fool's Day. Yeah. Could you imagine? And then they take it out of the shop. That'd be awful. But yeah, so I'm super, super excited about Mitomo. Um, I've been looking forward to it since they announced it was coming this March. Um, and, and Japan's had it for a little bit, so I've been watching some videos online of uh, other people playing it, and it looks like a lot of fun. I'm really, really super stoked about it. So I can't wait to download it on Thursday. I'm gonna get it set up. Um, I'm gonna make Nikki download it, and I'm gonna friend him, and I'm gonna and just, I... I'm just gonna <laughs> send him a lot of messages on it. This is my only opportunity to actually get to know Kate <laughs> on a real personal <laughs> the, level. The so, only one. Like, you know, what kind of chocolate do you like? Uh, uh, well, I mean, it was Easter recently, and there was a lot of Cadbury chocolate around, and it is so good. I only have it around I, Easter. I used to think that there was actually like raw egg in there, so I didn't uh, eat those. Oh no, they're really good. I know, it's like that cream, but like... Right, the, the cream, yeah. I honestly thought there was a raw egg in there, so I never ate it. But you like egg. I, not raw! <laughs> So when you download the app, obviously you can get yourself set up with a me. You can create the me, that it, whether it's brand new, you can take a photo of yourself and it'll auto automatically generate one, you can modify it from there, or you can import your me from your Wii U or your 3DS, which is probably what I'm gonna do. As soon as your me's ready, uh, you can obviously add your friends through the app, um, except for you have to meet them in person or have them friend it on Facebook or Twitter, which I thought was a little weird, but I like the experience of, you know, only being able to add people you either have met in person or already know in some way. So again, if you want the Platinum Rewards points, be sure to pre-register for Mitomo before Thursday at Mitomo.com. Again, it's gonna be available this Thursday, March 31st, for both iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, for Apple devices, as well as Android. How much does it cost? Zero dollars. It's a free app. This it's money. <laughs> this money. This money. It's absolutely free, so you should totally do it. Um, Nikki, this weekend, I know you spent a lot of time. Too much time. <laughs> playing Hyrule Warriors Legends for the new Nintendo 3DS. Those of you like me who haven't played it, mm -hmm. it's just like. Yes, there are ways of enemies, but you know, you have a map and you have these scenarios, and depending on the scenario, you can play multiple characters, you may play just one character, but there's just so much to do. You can play it on easy, normal, hard, yep. you can replay the scenarios and go back and find things that you might have missed, like hard pieces that only Zelda can get, hard pieces that only Link can get, and sure. you know, every scenario has a gold sculptula, so it's just like... Everything that I like in games, especially in like RPGs where you can mm -hmm. level up characters, find material to upgrade your armor, or like, you know, in this game it's called badges, attack and defense and assist badges. But it's just so fun because each character plays differently. Yep. Uh, they all have different specials. 
and the scenarios have different enemies and you can actually command the characters that are on the field to go to certain areas and attack certain players. There's different elemental type damage, so like, in Strike Commander for this scenario, so use fire. As I level up my characters, and I just think to myself, wait, the cap is 255? <laughs> and you wait, level you on now, like 16? I'm like, like 16, I'm yeah. like, wow, I'm gonna be playing this for a while. Yeah, and the cool thing, what you told me was that you can actually play as different characters in different scenarios, right? I never said that. No, I'm kidding, I guess. Oh, <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, you can, you can play as different characters in different scenarios, so like, for example, you wanna do this whole scenario as Sheik, and then all of a sudden, you want to like, oh, I want to do it again, but as Impa. And I really like the storyline, too. Right, like, yeah. For those of you who haven't played Ocarina of Time, there's this Sheik Impa thing, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, like, you said you're from the Sheik tribe, but who do you work for? Who and it's like, very for? mysterious, <laughs> and, you know, and Linkle was very cute, you mm -hmm. know, she, her storyline and how she was introduced. Yeah. Friends of the Zelda franchise mm -hmm. for RPGs or just Dynasty Warriors, definitely pick up this game. It surprised me so much. I'm having a lot of fun. And again, there's a lot of replay value, and at first I thought, oh, it's just button mashing the whole time. But again, mm -hmm. each character is different, different weapons, there's different objectives that, you know, you can put in for yourself. It looks like a lot of fun. I'll definitely be playing it as soon as I get a new Nintendo 3DS. But I can just imagine, like, fighting, like, waves of Goombas. Or, yeah. like, like when you're fighting Koopa Troopas, like, when you hit them once, they turn into a shell, and, like, you hit them again, you could send, like, a bunch of Koopa shells just... Yeah, yeah. especially with Mario and seeing Mario and Luigi in Smash Brothers, right. you, you can totally picture like special attacks. Absolutely. I mean, even Peach too. Next on the list, we're talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Oh, April yes. April 3rd, right. I believe, it's gonna be the first footage. That's yes, right. Super yep. excited. I'm super excited too. It's gonna be on a Japanese TV show, so we might have to wait a little bit to actually see it. Um, but it's gonna be our first glimpse at some Pokemon Sun and Moon footage, which is super cool. I don't know if we're gonna see any Pokemon, like any new ones are gonna be announced, or if it's just gonna be like scenery and like the trainers. Let me see that press start title screen. <laughs> press start, yeah, I mean, that'd be yeah. cool. I'm into that. Game Freak logo. Yeah. The question is, is it gonna be for Nintendo 3DS? Or new Nintendo 3DS? Do we know? It's gonna be for the 2DS exclusive. <laughs> So starting a new trend, we like to end these episodes with questions from you guys. So we have a couple questions. That's right. And definitely keep them coming. But first up, we have one from Seth Stevens. Yep. What is your guys' favorite games? What is your guys' favorite games? Well, at the moment or like of all time? Like that's kind of... Because I, I can answer at the moment. It's Fire Emblem Fates. It is Pokemon Tournament. And of course, Splatoon Super Mario Maker always, right? Yeah, Splatoon and Super Mario Maker are definitely up there. Right, like, you know, all Both the time. for current and, like, Like, all time, time yeah, obviously. And current also Hyrule Warriors Legends, but mm -hmm. something that's not... that hasn't come out in the past two years. Right, like, yeah, like, something that you could, like, always go back, replay, and just be like, that was great, you know? For me, I, I'll give you some time to thank... Resident Evil 4. No. <laughs> that's you, probably. Yeah, yeah okay, there, is that your answer? It's up there. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, that's the first one that came to my mind. You said replay. And I'm right, like, well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, like, replay, you just, like, you're like, I'm gonna plug this in, just play it. It's Super Mario World, the original yeah. for Super Nintendo, Mega Man X for Super Nintendo, okay. as, and Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, Diddy's Conquest. I like 3 as well. All the Donkey Kong games, I'm a huge fan. Mario Kart Double Dash, specifically, for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to be record holder. <laughs> I was number three, and then I was two, then three, now I'm four. We'll have to talk about that someday. I don't We're going to talk about that I don't someday. Think that, I don't think today is that day, but one day. This is a little insight if you guys want to know my story, but Mario Kart Double Dash, throwing it out there, yep. best Mario Kart game. Next question comes from Isaiah Josu. What is the story of how y'all meet, Nikki and Kate? We street pass, and the rest is history. <laughs> that is not true. That is not true. That is not true at all. We never street pass. We're gonna go on record and say we never street <laughs> pass. Definitely street pass before. That's not how we met. Okay, so he just recently got hired at Federator in 2012. Yeah, that's correct. And then shortly after, I got hired, and he. I, I don't remember this, but he always says that he brought me a brownie. How do you not remember that? I brought mini brownies to you, the ones with the glitter confetti on top. Glitter? Yeah, it had like the shiny gold like flakes, oh. and then. You went all out. No, so. Yeah, I, it was the fancy one. No, so we were both. At Frederator, I was interning, he got hired, and then slowly <laughs> I got hired. And then we just started doing a lot of work together. We used to do Hungover with Kate on Cartoon Hangover. And then we used to do Two Nerds, hosting a show together. We used to host Toy Pizza together. Toy Pizza, too many channels. We've had so many channels. Uh, we used to do Kate Goes to College together. That's not true, that was, you were not around for that. I was, I was, I was in the 
behind the scenes <laughs> operating the camera. And then, no, and then, alas, here we are, Super Coin Crew. Fleet Blaster Man asks, what do you think of the Pokemon franchise and what are your favorite Pokemon? Please do tell. <sighs> Charmander. Well, okay, yeah, Charmander is like definitely top five, right? Because, you know, it's for a starter, he's always going to have that little spot in your heart, right? Um, if there's a little flame in the tail of my heart that never goes out. That's horrible. I, I love the Pokemon franchise. Look, I, I actually skipped the third generation, um, which was Ruby Sapphire. What? I did, yeah, I did. I'm leaning towards picking out Sun and Moon because I have been away from the franchise for a little bit. Mm -hmm. You have the new Pokemon bank and you can you know, exchange Pokemon from all generations of the right, games yep. on the Nintendo 3DS, which is awesome. Super cool. What's uh, the next thing that you I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, what I would like to see more from the Pokemon uh, franchise is more, like, uh, specific, like, side quests or things that, you know, clear goals that you need to go and do, right? I know they kind of have that in the after game. More, like, other things you yeah. can do in the game. I, and I think that's what you're, you know, asking for or what do you love about the games, like, that's kind of like why we love the legendaries. You know, yep. it's not mm -hmm. mandatory to go find Mewtwo right. yes, or yep. Zapdos yeah. or Suicune, you know, but you do it because it's mm -hmm. like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's well, pretty I just cool. think it would be interesting if there was like a way for you to uh, like be almost be like forced to use other kinds of Pokemon that you might not normally use. So like, say you like come across a trainer who's like a bug trainer and he's like, hey, I'm holding a, a bug tournament at my house, but you can only have bug Pokemon to enter. And like, you're like, oh, Man, I need to let you say, no, yeah. I'm not coming over. <laughs> Forget it, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Super Coin Crew, where it's nonstop Nintendo. And please keep the questions coming. Keep them coming. And also download Tomo on Thursday. And let us know if you want us to do like a review or like a walkthrough yeah. or something. Maybe we'll do that like when we download it in our first playthrough. We'll see what we can do. Absolutely. So keep it here. Join the coin. And subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.